Bye. うん、えっと、今回は、えっ、ー、とね、GCC のウェブサイトの説明をする、してもらうと思ってるんですけど、えっ、ー、と、まず、GCC のウェブサイトっていうのは、えっ、ー、と、フィリピンの企業ポターの人たち、アプリカントの人たちと、日本の企業をマッチングしたりだったりとか、えー、送り出し期間をマッチング、してもらったりとか、あと、送り出し機関と日本の企業ですね、組合だったり、えー、企業を直接だったりとかをマッチングする、えー、ウェブサイトになります。なので、その説明を今回、えー、メラルドの方からしてもらおうかなと思ってます。OK? はい、OK です。So guys, today we will,、uh, we will explaining about the GCC website. So again, GCC website is a job portal based in the Japan Po. And then the main role of GCC website is to have a matching system po between the Japanese employer and the sending organization po here in the Philippines. And paano siya makakatulong sa mga applicant natin dito sa Pilipinas?、Uh, ginagawa po ni GCC website, once we have a parang match, sending organization and accepting company, that's the time po na you can view po yung mga job openings po doon sa GCC website. But again, guys, GCC website is not a recruitment agency. It's a job portal po based in Japan. So what we do is a job matching lang po. And then,、uh, the main role, of, and, and of course,、uh, we will explain you also regarding with the JP Base. And JP Base po, lagi po namin sinasabi sa inyo, the, ba- the main role of JP Base is to update you po of Japan employment related information lang po. So, we are not a recruitment agency. So, yung purpose lang po is to share po guidance about hiring and deployment procedure to Japan. Ma,、uh, sa isyo, nagin na sa ano, di ko siyo kayo siya. 自分のことは誰、うんうん、えっとまあまあ詳しくはあのいつも説明している通りなんですけど<笑>今、うんえー J、GCC ウェブサイトだったりとかあと JP ベースを運営しているナギノと申しますよろしくお願いします、うん、よろしくお願いします<笑> So ナギノさん is the managing director of JP Base and GCC ウェブサイト and of course I would like to introduce myself so Today, I'm the one who will explain the GCC website. So, most of you guys, we,、uh, para na-encounter nyo ako sa mga answering po, or we, you encounter us po sa answering po ng any comments po ninyo. So, if you have any comments about our website, you are, you are free to,、uh, to write down po in our comment section. So, we will answer it naman po latter part po in our, no, of our videos. So, first, So again, sa mga、uh, viewers namin na hindi pa po nakakapag-follow、uh, po sa aming、uh, Facebook page, kindly follow po yung JP Base and kindly click po yung like para every time na meron po kaming update regarding Japan、uh, hiring po or deployment procedure po sa Japan,、uh, updated po kayo. And also, ha,、uh, we would like to seek for your, ano po, Uh, parang support po for our YouTube channel po. So, kindly click lang po yung comment section po. Naka-indicate po doon sa YouTube, yung sa comment section po namin yung YouTube channel namin. Lagi na sa, it kay, ano, YouTube channel no, ano, rin ko, hati ko rin masin ka-comment to, 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 to. So, kindly click that link lang po para po mag-direct po kayo sa YouTube channel namin. So, our YouTube channel is, again, doon po, pinapakita lang po din namin or binibigay lang po namin yung mga information na kailangan po ninyo regarding po sa mga hiring and deployment procedure of Japan. So, yun. So, first, uh, guys, we will, uh, say siya ni Chotoy, kay, sasimay siya mas ako ka, doya titoro ka sa loob ka. Hmm. Ha. So, una po,、uh, i-explain po namin kung paano po kayo makakapag-register doon po sa website namin. So, anything po na makikita nyo in our website,、uh, it's a sample lang po para po to have a reference po kung paano po kayo makakapag-apply, paano po nyo makukomplete yung profile on how to,、uh, or how to, uh, on how to use our GCC website po. 
So, lahat po na makikita nyo, ma'am, dito po sa demonstration natin is a sample lang po. So, kahit po yung mga employers po na, sa, uh, na makikita nyo is just a sample po. Hindi pa po yun yung mga registered employers po. Uh, we, uh, we create that one po for the uh, explanation po of our website. So, saisho ni Toroku no sesme. うん、リンクをフェイスブックのサイトフェイスブックページにえ、ライブのコメントコメント欄ではなくてあの、投稿欄に載せてますので、それを見ながらえっと、みんな見ていただければ。コメントじゃないですか。コメントじゃないですか。
uh, fa- para sa akin, since ang pangalan ko po is Emerald, usually ang makita niyo po dito yung first letter of your name. So, which is sa akin po is E. So, once you click this one, it will appear, mag-a-appear po dito yung my profile and yung log out. So, for this one po, you need to click po yung my profile to complete your uh, profile po. So, again, you need to verify first your email address po. So, kindly go to your email address. So, once nandito na po kayo, kindly click this one, verify email address po. So, yan. Pupunta po kayo sa landing page po ni uh, applicant user po. So, ito po yung landing page natin. So, usually, dito po makikita niyo po yung mga blog. So, kindly click po again yung my profile. So, sa my profile po, lalabas na po lahat ng mga information na kailangan po makita po sa inyo. So, usually po kasi nakikita po ito ng mga employer kapag po naghahanap sila ng mga applicant po. So, again, for this one naman po, you need to complete po ito. So, kindly click yung personal information. So, click the edit part, uh, the edit button po. So, yung mga finil up nyo kanina po, lalabas na po yun dito, yung mga basic information. So, basic information po, uh, usually ang lumalab, uh, meron na po is yung first name, last name, email address, username po. And then, kindly complete lang po, make sure you complete your profile. So, para po, mas maganda po uh, sa part po ninyo kasi the more na complete po yung inyong profile, the more po na mas nakaka- Uh, attract po na ma- ma-select tayo ng employer natin or ng mga agency po ng Pilipinas. So, maganda, kompleto po, pati yung mga resume, yung mga, mga simple details po, you need to complete it po. So, birthday ko po, so malalaman nyo na po kung ano na po yung birthday ko. So, nice, okay, so gender, make sure you click it. So, civil status, ano, koko na ni Shok ka na. <laughs> so, married po. Catholic. So, sa type of visa po, so, we have different type of visa po sa Japan if you're going to apply for Japan po. So, first, we have a TITP, yun po yung sinasabi natin na trainee. So, TITP is a technical intern training program. So, yun po yung tinatawag natin as trainee po. So, another one po is SSW. SSW is a Specified Skilled Worker po. Yun po yung sinasabi naman natin na yung bagong visa po na binigay po ni Japan for foreign workers po. And then, we have also yung mga student visa. And then, meron din po tayong mga high-skilled worker. So, for me, since I'm qualified naman na po as Specified Skilled Worker, so I will click the Specified Skilled Worker. So, kindly choose dito sa type of skill evaluation kasi all uh, specified skill worker po, kailangan po meron po kayong skill uh, evaluation exam. So, yung sa skill evaluation exam po na yun, under po yung 14 categories po ng, ng job. So, for myself po is nursing care. Since I passed the nursing care, uh, nursing assessment po ng Japanese po last year. So, yan po yung ilalagay ko para alam ni employer na ah, ito si Emerald is already past the nursing care for specified skilled worker. So, again, so contact number, ito po. So, hindi ko na po ilalagay yung contact number ko pero nakikita nyo na po. <laughs> so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, sa street, Okay. So, kailangan complete po muna lahat. So, kailangan pati po yung city po kung saan kayo talaga, kailangan naka-indicate po dyan. So, dito naman po sa uh, hobbies po, kindly complete na lang din po. So, for example, mahilig ka po mag So, baking. So, yan. And then... Kung meron kayong mga, kasi this uh, website din also is meron din yung mga Japanese uh, company po na merong dito sa Pilipinas, pwede rin po sila mag-register sa amin. So, kaya meron kaming preferred location. Kung ang preferred mo is magtrabaho sa Japan, so kindly click lang po yung Japan. And then, preferred specialization, so for sa akin is more on 
uh, nursing, hanapin natin yung nursing care job. So, yan. So, preferred salary, um, sabi mong Philippine. So, for example lang po, ah, um, 80,000. So, once na makomplete nyo na po yan lahat, so, kindly click lang po yung save. Ay, sorry. Meron ditong lumabas na the number must between 1 to 11 digits. So, dito siya. So, tanggalin pala natin to guys. So, yan. Okay. So, meaning, okay na po tayo sa personal information. So, next, yung skills po. So, kung ano yung strong points nyo and weak points po. So, pwede nyo naman po ilagay dyan kung ano yung mga strong points nyo. So, kung multitasking po ba kayo or ano po ba, kaya nyo po ba tapusin lahat ng work niyo So, ilagay nyo po siya sa strong points. Kung sa weak points po, kung ano po yung mga weak points nyo, pwede nyo po siya ilagay. So, for ano, hindi ko na siya lalagyan kasi nag-abog tayo ng oras. So, next work experience. So, sa work experience naman po, if meron kayong mga previous job, for example, TITP po kayo, mas maganda po na ikupleto natin siya. So, you need to uh, lagay yung company name, position nyo po doon, date start, date end, tapos kung country, kung saan. And then, yung parang general job responsibilities ninyo kung ano ba. So, hmm? Ego de, ego de, onegai te kaite de yo. Ah, gomen ne. Kono so, niho, Philippines jin janai to omon desu kedo ne. Ah, so, hmm. so you need even uh, for the work experience, kindly complete it with company name, position designation, date start, date end. But if you are still currently working, working pa in your uh, company, company name, uh, company, kindly click the present po. So country, kindly click kung Japan or Philippines. So again, if you are previously ex trainee po, kindly uh, indicate your last or your previous company uh, experience. Kasi uh, mas maganda po yun kasi mas ma-identify ni employers na you have a background na po for the for the for for that ex uh, for that job category po. For education, so kindly click add. So for this one, uh, mas, uh, much better if you're uh, the latest educational background na lang po. So if you are high school graduate, uh, college degree, if you have doctorate degree, postgraduate, professional license, and vocational diploma. For vocational diploma, for those... Uh, for those applicant po na nag-conduct under TESDA, pwede rin po yun yung mga NC2 level. So, kindly click yung course title, name of school, yung last attended po ninyo, and then country, kung saan po, or where did you graduate po, and then date start and date end po. So, for the certificates po, number one uh, important po is to indicate what kind of certificate do you have. For that certificate po kasi, uh, we indicated here N1, N2, N3, N4, N5. For my case, I'm N2. And then, for certification number, kung ano po yung naka-indicate doon, no? for example, lagay na lang po natin muna yung ganyan. And then, accreditator is JLPT. The and then, date issue, for example, December 2019. Tapos, kindly click the choose file. Oh, ang dami pong nakalagay. So, sorry guys. So, sample lang po to. So, this is just a sample po. So, kindly choose file. So, J, for example, ito po yung, this is the, my certificate. So, once it's ano na po, uh, completed na po, na-indicate na po yung file name, kindly click the save button po. Okay, so it will appear like this. Po. So if you have, for example, you have another certificate, kindly click again yung add. So type of certificate, if you have, uh, if you have prometric exam, 
So, you pass the prometric exam, kind of click the address na lang po, then certification number, for example, yan, and then, sino po yung accreditator or conducted the exam. So, for that is prometrics, and then, kailan yung, ano, sabi, for example lang po. This is one. So, choose file. For example, it's SSW result sample, click, and then save. So, done na po tayo for the certificate. So, kindly go back to your profile. So, again, so you need to fill up, uh, you need to upload your picture. Kasi in our website po, kasi the, the employers, uh, they can view your uh, what do you call this? Your uh, hindi naman po yung pinaka specific, yung some information, including your picture. So, kindly click the change image. So, click this one and then open. So, you have your profile picture po dito sa, sa system po ng GCC. And then, for upload resume, kindly upload also your resume. So, this one is upload and click save button. Then, click OK. And then, if you, uh, sa Japan po kasi, it's important, uh, parang details din po, if you have tattoos, Kasi some employers po kasi, hindi naman po lahat, not all naman po. Uh, some employers uh, don't want yung applicant nila ano, may tattoo. So, if you have a tattoo or any scars, kindly clip, uh, parang take a picture of your tattoo and then put it here na lang po sa, uh, sa, ano namin, sa system namin, for example. So, for example, this one na lang. For example lang po, ito yung tato. So, click lang natin yan. And then, save po. So, anything na mer kapag Once you have tato, kindly uh, picture your tattoos po. And then, kindly indicate po dito sa profile po ninyo. So, yan. So, we are completed na po for our profile po. So, this one po, just explaining this one po, yung mag-click button natin, save jobs. Pwede po kayong uh, mag-bookmark or you can uh, you can do some bookmark dun sa mga job opening po. And then, job application, lahat po na in nyo for our web, sa website namin, you can check po yung mga job application po ninyo. Job invitation po, if some employers po send you any email uh, messages po, uh, dito po siya papasok. Save courses, this one is applicable for the students. And then, course application, again, this one po also is applicable for the student. So, paano po ba kayo makakahanap ng uh, employers using our system? So, once you click yung search job, this one is mga sample job post namin. So, makikita nyo po dito yung mga uh, opening na jobs for Japan. So, dito, uh, all na lahat na makikita nyo dito is just a sample. So, we will erase it uh, once we are done with the video po. So, for example, I want to be an caregiver po. So, hanap po tayo. So, we have yung Taita Dayosh Sending Organization. So, the details po is specified skill worker which is applicable po sa akin kasi I'm looking for a specified skill worker visa. So, uh, ang prefecture niya is Osaka, Japan. So, ang main task niya po is more on nursing care jobs and at least one to four year experience employ uh, employee. So, you can see the job order. Uh, you 
you can see here the job order. So if you want, if you click the job order po, uh, makikita nyo po dyan yung approved job order po na release po ng ating uh, uh, what you call this, embahada po sa Japan. So hindi po po pwedeng makapasok dito ang isang employer po na wala pong approved job order. And then all po na meron po dito sa ating system na job post po, meron po silang kapartner na sending or organization dito sa Pilipinas. So, once na you send a message or application po directly doon sa Jap Japan company po, uh, automatically, your your messages po will be uh, received also sa ating mga sending organization. So, marireceive din po nila yung email po ninyo. Kasi, uh, they cannot post any job or uh, job posting po without a uh, partner partner sending organization po sa Pilipinas. So you can see po dito yung uh, uh, yung salary range po nila. Sa salary range po nila, mabibiyo niyo to kapag nag-register po kayo sa amin. Pero if you did not registered po, hindi niyo po siya makikita. So ito po 'yung sasabi ko sa inyo, once you bookmark po to, magse-save po siya. Okay? So kindly click po yung caregiver. So you can see here yung job description, job responsibilities, and job qualification. So here, if you can see the affiliated company po, so we have a or, uh, partner organization and co partner companies po. Since si Tadayoshi po is a sending organization, so meron po siyang partner organization po doon and may partner po siyang direct company kung saan po magtatrabaho si Filipino worker. So, if you want to apply this job, kindly click this one, choose file, kasi you need to attach your resume. Since you, I already uploaded my resume in the website, uh, in my profile, so click this one and apply. So, the purpose of this uh, GCC po is to minimize yung mga third parties po na nakakausap natin and of course to prevent po na magkaroon po tayo ng mga illegal recruitment po. So yun. So once na nag-appear nag na po to, meaning po you already applied to the sending organization po. So again, once you applied po, marireceive po to ng partner niya pong direct company sa Japan and of course yung mga uh, partner organization niya sa Japan din po. So, if you go back to your profile, so, nakikita nyo po dito sa inyong job application, yung inapplyan nyo. So, we are waiting for the pending. So, once na ito po is naging approved po, that's the time na na-screen uh, na, na po kayo ni sending organization po. And then, you will proceed to uh, actual interview po. Okay. Then, paano kayo makakapag-search ng companies naman? If you want to search for companies, kindly click this one, companies. So, you can see here yung mga available companies na meron sa website. So, for example, we're going to click the, ito po, heart in mind na gino po. So, view profile po. So, for this one, since this one is a Japanese employer po, so, the details po indicated in our website po is in Japanese. So, I think you need to click this one if you don't know how to speak yet or to read yung, uh, Japanese languages. So, click this one. So, para po mag automatic Google Translate po siya into English. So, once you click naman po this, you can directly go to their website to check if they are valid or they are uh, parang talagang company ba sila sa Japan, so may mga website din sila, and of course you can check po dun sa job post nila, yung job order po natin, so again job order is the number one rule po, pag mag po talaga sila ng aplikante po sa Pilipinas, so you need to check that one po, so nakalagay po dyan lahat, yung details po ng company, so again uh, applicant can uh, use this website para po makahanap kayo directly kung sino ba yung mga employers na nag-hire po ng Filipino worker. So, once you click home naman po, 
you will see here how many employers na po ang naka-register, how many organization or how many registered school na po ang nakapag-register in our website and how many uh, applicants na po ang nag-register sa website. So, may kita niyo po dito yung mga sample uh, details po. So, surprising po, not applicable po sa inyo yan because this one is applicable for the employers. So, if you want to check naman again yung aming, uh, how to use po yung aming process, you can go to, uh, to the home page po of your profile para po makita po dito yung steps kung paano po mag-apply. So, nandito po siya. So, meron din po dito naka-indicate yung mga company partners namin. So, ito yung mga company partners namin is yung mga partners namin na featured, com uh, featured company po na talagang uh, parang parang marami na rin nag apply sa kanila and ina-advertise namin sila as our company partners. So, yun. So, since we applied for the hmm. For the position of caregiving, we will check po doon sa employer side naman po kung paano na siya i-approve para po makita niyo po yung flow. <clears throat> so, So, yan. Pupunta muna tayo sa profile niya para po i-approve lang po natin yung application po kanina, kanina po para po makita niyo po kung paano po siya mag-work. Hindi So, na de. Hmm. So, yun guys. So, still, kasi meron kasi kami mga inaayos pa for our website. So, once na nag-apply naman po kayo dito, mag, uh, once na maklik niya po yung approve, lalabas na po siya sa approve uh, list po ninyo kung sino na po mga sending organization po ang nag-approve po ng mga inapplyan niyo pong job dito sa website. So, once po na meron na po doon, magsasend po yun ng email po doon sa niregister nyo na email address to check, uh, to, para makita po ninyo na na-approve na po yung inyong application. So, Check lang po natin yung email address ko kasi hindi ko po siya memorize. Okay. Mie mas ka, Mada. So, medyo mabagal lang po yung internet sa bahay, guys. Pero nagtatry siyang mag-load. kauchis din pa waro imita so chini me dai mo so yan so pag pumunta po kayo sa my profile so once na na-approve na po niya yan lalabas na po dito sa job application po niyo which is Uh, for interview na kayo ng employer. So, meron po silang isa-send sa inyo na schedule for interview. So, once na, so once they already send you an email regarding your interview, the sending organization po will conduct a screening po or actual interview po doon po sa office na. But I think for this time po, since uh, we are still in quarantine po, yung mga ibang, uh, ibang, Lugar po is under general quarantine. 
So, may mga times po talaga na hindi pa po sila nag allowed na pumunta diretso. So, usually, they conduct their interview using uh, using some online uh, application po to conduct their interview. So, dito niyo po siya makikita. And then, uh, next po, uh, i-explain ko po sa inyo, paano po ba kayo mas-search ni the employers? So, ima chat to ano kikyo ho para do yatte applicant to meru ka sorry kai sa sme shimasu shimasu ka hmm hmm da jo ba ato 5 fun gorai chotto matte hmm so so ito na po yung last para po ma ma, ma encourage namin kayo na kailangan po is complete details po kasi ito po yung makikita sa inyo ni website ay ni Empty Companies po. So for example, uh, nag, uh, ako po is a Japanese employers po. Gusto ko po maghanap ng aplikante kung sino po yung mga nag-register sa GCC. So once I click here, yung search applicant, meron po silang specific button po for companies lang po. So, dito, may kita niya po lahat ng nag-registered na applicante. That's the reason po I, I asking you or telling you po, you need to complete your profile kasi here, some information will be appear po dito po sa ating website. So, dito, may kita yung age ninyo, your gender, your civil status, saan yung location niyo and ano yung certificate na meron kayo, and of course, what kind of parang preferred job po ninyo. So, since kanina, nag-apply ako. So, pag nakita niyo po, some of details po is not complete. Hindi po siya maseselect ng employers. Kasi nga, syempre, hindi kompleto yung details. So, ganyan. Sorry po, guys. Nakikita po ninyo yung mga mukha po na nag-register. So, ito po yung kanina ang register ko. So, di ba guys, iba yung makikita mo kapag complete yung details niya. So, once yung aming applic uh, employer po is nakasubscribe po sa aming premium account, mas marami pa po siyang makikita na details po ninyo once na maklik nila to. Since I'm not a premium account holder, so I cannot view this one. So, they can also yung uh, put yung bookmark once they are premium account holder para po mabalikan po nila kayo. So that's the ano po, that's the parang uh, parang way nila para po maghanap po ng aplikante. So you need to uh, number one rule po, if you are going to register in our website, kindly complete po yung ating profile para po hindi po tayo uh, para po madali tayong ma-select ng ating employers. So hi. Dahil job days. Mo, okay. Hi. Share. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Ano, kung ano ay ano do yat de SSW ni apply するかとか、えっとそれでも YouTube に載っけてるから YouTube の方もぜひいいねしてほしいな。お願いしますね。<laughs> so, for the previous video po namin regarding with the SSW, so to those viewers po na hindi po nakaabot na manood po nung last Facebook live namin, we already posted in our YouTube channel. So, uh, kindly click our YouTube channel na lang po yung link po na naka-indicate po sa aming page. And then, once you subscribe po, may kita nyo na po doon lahat ng video po na i-upload namin. Uh, previously and then upcoming videos namin. So kindly please uh, subscribe po, like and click the ring bell button. Ikay yat tuwita kata.